John Greenleaf Whittier is not a commonly recognized name. Whittier, however, was a very powerful poet in American history during the times of slavery, previous to his death on September 7, 1892. Prior to becoming known as an influential poet, he was a local shoemaker and school teacher not far from his hometown of Haverhill, Massachusetts. He was born there December 13, 1807. He was still a boy when his family figured out he was colorblind. He worked on his family farm for much of his life, which was not very beneficial financial-wise for his family. Whittier received a very brief education at the Academy of Haverhill from 1827 to 1828. Due to shortage of money, it lasted less than a year. He used the food from his farm to help pay for his tuition, along with the money he made for making shoes. Even with lack of an education, he was still a very intense reader and read six books about Quakerism that his father possessed, developing into a blueprint of his principles of life, which included, but was not limited to, consideration of others, humanitarianism, and the belief of social responsibility. His father's books were the gateway to Whittier's career. As a transcendentalist writer, he was just 20 years old when his sister sent one of the poems to a free press. Thanks to her, he was able to get it published in June of the 8th in 1826. A neighboring editor, William Garrison, saw the poem and pushed him into attending the academy. That's when he got his teaching job in Merrimack, Massachusetts, allowing him to pay for the last of his tuition. Garrison gave Whittier an editing job after his completion of his school. He worked for his, the National Philanthropist. He lost contact with Garrison for several years before reconnecting with him in the 1830s. Garrison was a major influence on Whittier and convinced him to join his abolitionist activity. Their main idea was to abolish all hopes of slavery. One of his major poems was excerpt, and it dealt with his philosophy of slavery. Ha! Stand or die, the white man's eye, his steady musket gleamed along, as a tall negro hastened nigh with fearless step and strong. Well, ho, tuss it a moment more, his shadow crossed the lighted floor. Away he shouted, fly with me, the white man's bark is on the sea. Her nails must catch the wind sea word, wind, for sudden vengeance sweeps behind. Our brethren from their graves have spoken, the yoke is spun and the chain is broken. On all the bills our fires are glowing, through the veils of red blow is flowing. No more the mocking white sail rests, his foot upon the negro's breast. No more. Whittier is in some states a person of endearment, whose birthday is recognized as a holiday, and many school kids have verses of his work memorized ranging from the King's Missive, Cassandra Southwick, How the Woman Went from Dover, to even his work on revo 